Today we are going to discuss the Sexton coat of arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First Sexton coat of arms to discuss is blazoned as follows. Argent, a chevron gules between in Dexter Chief, a spear's head, and Sinister Chief, a Fion, and in base, a horseshoe, all azure, points down, crest, a Fion azure. This was the coat of arms of Sir George Sexton, born 1602, knighted in 1616, secretary to the Lord Deputy of Ireland, son of Stephen Sexton, grandson of Edmund Sexton, great-grandson of Morris Sexton, and the 2x great-grandson of Dennis Sexton. George had brothers Edmund, James, Christopher, and Arthur. Here we have another one from Ireland, which has a different crest. And the grantee or the armager was not stated by the author. Some possibilities include Edmund Sexton, who received a royal grant in 1534 for services to the crown, along with relatives Humphrey, Nicholas, George, and Robert Sexton, all merchants of Limerick that enabled them to serve and their posterity to serve as mayor, sheriffs, and bailiffs and constables in the city, and the family had trading links to Flanders. There was also Edmund Sexton of Limerick, James Sexton of Limerick, will prove 1777, Edmund Sexton, will prove 1773, uh, Joseph Sexton of Ballyclaw, Limerick, will prove 1802, so on and so forth through Joseph Sexton, who erected a paper mill in 1749. Sable and Eagle displayed Argent, a Benlet Componi of the First and Azure, again from Ireland. This was found in the funeral entry of Miss Anne Dean, alias Sexton, who died in 1597, as well as Margaret Sexton, who died in 1675. She was the wife of Pierce or Pierce Sexton of Ballycloe, in County Wicklow, Ireland. Next, we have a similar coat of arms. The armager is not stated, or an eagle displayed vert, armed azure, and a Ben Gaboni argent and or. Sexton of London. This was found on an ancient seal that came down as an heirloom to Samuel Brahman Sexton, born 1869, of Torham, born in New York. He used this as his private yacht signal, and it was also similar to Saxton of Yorkshire, but with sable catices, and that was granted to Christopher Saxon of Dunningley, Yorkshire in 1579 for his services to geography. And here we see a photograph of Samuel Brahman Sexton. Next we have Sexton or Saxon of Cheshire, which I wasn't able to find, but there's it's also the arms of Sexton of Lavenham, born quarterly with Mountney. Robert Sexton of Lavenham in Norfolk, died around the year 1517, was son of Alan Sexton, and Robert himself had nine children, including Thomas Sexton, who had a son named Thomas Sexton, born 1520, of Lavenham and Great Maplestead, Essex, and of Byam Hall. And I have a note here that says Edmund Sexton of Westminster and Uxbridge, Middlesex, was a member of Parliament for St. Maws in 1563 and was likely the third son of Thomas Sexton of Lavenham and Elizabeth Mountney. Similar coat of arms with a different crest, a woman cooped at the waist proper, habited ghouls, hair flowing or holding in the dexter hand a chaplet vert. This is from England. The grantee was not stated, but I found it in a book that was dated 1817, so we know it at least predates that year. And lastly, we should mention there was a John Sexton and John Sexton II of Canterbury, who were members of Parliament in County Kent at the turn of the, looks like, 15th century. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description. Thank you very much.